All right, Kurt Suppy says a couple of questions. LRS has done a great job poking some keywords to Google page one. Would I use Tube Rocket from Bill Cousins instead of LRS to upload the videos into the poked sites? If not, what would I use Tube Rocket for if LRS works? I understand that Tube Rocket, and he's talking about Tube Authority Rocket guys, um, otherwise known as Rocket Video Ranker Pro. We did a webinar with Bill Cousins a week or two ago. Um, it's a really, really cool tool. We got a lot of really, uh, I did a full on um, case study bonus too, which was pretty detailed. It's probably two and a half hours worth of video in that case study alone. Um, he says, I understand that Tube Rocket can make the videos unique, but if possible, how would I get them into the spots created by LRS since it requires live stream and not just a video upload? Okay, so first of all, Kurt, um, yes, you can use Live Rank Sniper to stream a video into the scheduled live event because those are essentially just placeholders, right? The, the scheduled live events are just placeholders. However, the problem, not and it's not a problem, but the, the drawback of using Live Rank Sniper to stream to those scheduled live events is that it's a slow process because you have to open up Live Rank Sniper. It's, it's, it's only a couple clicks of a mouse, guys. It's not like it's difficult. It's very simple to do, but it's a slow process because you have to allow the software to start the stream. You just, you click the, uh, you know, upload or whatever. Um, you click the, the tab and then you go navigate to the file on your hard drive click it and then you tell it to start streaming and it basically you just wait for it to go through the process of firing up the live stream starts to stream it and then it closes it down and on all that and so it's a manual process and my point was if you have if you've poked 100 keywords and you got 40 of them on that are ranking on page one and or page two and you want to go upload that's a long time a lot a lot of time that you're going to have to sit there and uh, click the mouse a few times to get it to up to stream. It's just going to take you a ton of time, Kurt. So you can absolutely do that. There's no there's no problem. Um, it's just personally, it's not efficient for me. So I, I wouldn't prefer. I wouldn't recommend doing that. So uh, you know there is um, uh, what's uh, Peter Drew? Excuse me, I was drawing a blank. Peter Drew has Hangout Millionaire, which would integrate very, very well with Live Rank Sniper because they're from the same developer. So they, they have the same sort of interface and that kind of stuff. So you, um, and I'm, I'm fairly certain that Hangout Millionaire can actually stream into those scheduled live events and that'll automate the process so that you don't have to manually start every single stream. So if you wanna use the pre-scheduled events that are already ranking, then I would recommend you upgrade to Hangout Millionaire and use that. Okay, and that's the reason why I say that is because you've already got the placeholders in place and I'm fairly sure um, that Hangout Millionaire is able to stream to those scheduled live events, but you might have to check with Peter Drew and support first prior to signing up for that. Where Rocket Video Ranker or Tube Authority Rocket, um, they're one and the same really, uh, shines is that it basically uploads videos with, and it uses that very um, unique process where it sets everything to private and then you go in and you turn on them all public at the same time and it uh and it just seems to work I, I, again i don't know why it works but it works and so as long as it's working it's something that can be exploited and i've used it a lot as well okay but no you cannot use rocket video ranker to stream to schedule with live events that's it, it doesn't work that way uh, rocket video ranker is strictly an upload application i mean it's it it just it makes it so much faster and efficient to um, upload a bunch of videos all at one time to the same channel. But there's a limit to that, by the way, too. I, I I ran into a couple issues throughout the case study where I made a mistake with a batch of, you know, 30 uploads and I had to go in and delete them all. And then I went back and uploaded again to the same channel and it denied me. It said, you've uploaded too many videos and uh, you must wait. 24 hours before uploading anymore or something like that. So just keep that in mind. But it, again, it's a different animal that they uh, can accomplish similar things. But remember, Live Rank Sniper was specifically a keyword poking tool. I mean, that's what it was described or advertised as, right? It's a keyword poking tool. Yes, you can stream to pre scheduled events, but it's not really designed to do that efficiently, in other words. Okay. All right, next he says, also I made a spin tax with keywords and geotargeting for the LRS pokes. Some of them landed on page one and two and in the videos page. This was done without the long lat settings in Live Rank Sniper. If I needed to do long lat in LRS, would this require one poke per keyword? 
Yes. Yeah. Well, it would be one poke per lo location, Kurt, because if you, so, and, and I, I did the same thing, Kurt. In other words, when I was running my, um, I was basically targeting one keyword and multiple locations. And so I didn't use the, the geo coordinate setting either. I left that blank. But if you want to target multiple keywords in one location, then you could use this, the geo, um, the, uh, you know, the geo settings, excuse me, because then it's all the same location. But I did the same thing what you're asking about here. No, I just omitted that. Okay. Or could I just use the long that for, Ch for Chicago and geo target all the smaller communities in Metro Chicago with the keyword spin tax with the same result and effectiveness? I don't know, Kurt. I haven't tested that personally. I would not want to use Chicago uh, coordinates for, um, you know, suburbs around Chicago because those suburbs each have their own coordinates, right? Every, every point anywhere at all geographically has its own coordinate, right? And so even if you move a hundred yards to the right or to the left or north, south, east, west, it doesn't matter. My point is it's still got a unique coordinate. So if you're assigning a Chicago coordinate, excuse me, to all of the other locations that you're targeting, then you'd be giving a mixed message to Google. I haven't tested that, so I don't know whether it would work or not, but to be honest with you, I, it's, it seems logical to me that it would cause problems. So I would recommend just omitting the uh, geo coordinates from those campaigns, unless you're targeting one location.